Numbers uh, 10 and 11, exercises 10 and 11. On the very first day of uh, uh, class, you, you looked in a mirror and drew a portrait. And then um, you, from your imagination, that was, that was from a realistic image. Then I had you, from your memory, draw a nude figure because nude, the nude figure has been a subject of art for as far back as Greeks and Romans and I, even, there, even Venus Vielendorf is pretty naked. But anyway, okay, so I had the women draw a woman. My, my point with that was to see about human proportions and what you thought they would be like. So now we have a, uh, this is a model from a figure drawing uh, handbook and that I think works very well with this. So as the basic unit, as we keep getting back to that, as the basic unit, you want from the chin to the top of her head. Now remember her hair is not quite as tall as that. And then we're going to measure using the straight edge. I'm gonna make a mark that is going to be from the top of her head to her chin. Okay, and that is my unit. So let's see how tall she is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a little bit over seven. Notice this model, I don't know why they did this. This model is standing on her tiptoes, so it makes a little awkward measurement here. Um, so you, you really stop measuring uh, at her ankles, because that's called foreshortening. The feet are coming straight toward us. They'll probably give you a fit. Do the best job you can. You can uh, see them pretty clearly, just draw that. And in keeping with this, a negative space is here, negative space between her arms and the body, and so on. When you see all that stuff, don't spend, the face is small here, don't spend a lot of time making this into a portrait. We've, we've, we've had plenty of experiences. Remember now, after you've taken that measurement for the head, you're gonna take that same measurement and turn it sideways. Her shoulders are like one and a half of those. A Y from the top of her shoulder to her wrist. One, two, three. The legs. One, two, three, and so on. So measure it first, and that will give you a much more realistic human proportioned figure. The male model. Same thing. You're going to measure, make a mark from the chin to just below where you see his hair. He's got a little, kind of a thick hair up there measure his height and, and heads. Uh, his shoulders are two, almost exactly two heads apart. His waist is uh, almost one across where the navel is. You got negative spaces here to help you get all that in proportion. See it first, measure it, draw it. Do it your best.